Welcome to the Startup Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, the host of the show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot at startup funding and investing. The framing effect bias is defined by Wikipedia as drawing different conclusions from the same information depending on how that information is presented. How you frame the startup in a pitch can determine how an investor regards it. One can use framing to position a startup so it's more relevant to the investor. The investors are tech investors, then position the startup as a tech deal. The investors look for recurring revenue, then position the startup based on its revenue model. If the investors are impact investors, then position the startup showing the impact it makes. By positioning the startup for the investor, you can increase the chance that an investor will align with it. Also, by framing the pitch to show the accomplishments of the startup rather than the work left to be done, one can position the startup as successful and on track rather than falling behind. Use framing to put your startup in the best position to connect with the investor. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect with funding. Let's go start us into the day. Alti Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.